what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i know i i know it's been a long time it feels really good to sit down in this chair right here and filming this video because i have just missed youtube so much i did not expect to be away for this long i think it's been like five weeks maybe almost six weeks even i don't know but it feels like a very long time and i have missed you guys i've missed filming videos i'm just happy to feel like myself again and just just feel motivated again to filming youtube videos because although i love making these videos and editing and all of that sometimes you know you're just not feeling your best and it's hard to kind of get into it but yeah i was kind of struggling with that for a little while and I woke up today just feeling really good. I had a little bit of iced coffee, which I did not drink coffee for a very long time because it just, it's a little bit too much for me. Like it makes me really jittery. And I've been kind of drinking coffee again lately and it really puts me in a better mood. It gives me a lot more energy. So yeah, I had my iced coffee this morning. I'm feeling good. Very happy to be here and I missed you guys so, so much. A lot of you had reached out to me on Instagram, which was really, really nice. So thank you all so much for that. I've still been active over there. So in case you guys are not following me, I will have my Instagram link down below as well but just because I've been away you know it doesn't mean I still haven't been shopping so I figured there is no better way to come back than with a massive collective haul because I have just been still buying all the new things there's been a lot of new body care actually a lot of new fragrances just a lot of new good stuff that's come out for the fall and fall scents are like some of my favorites because they're all very gourmand and sweet and warm and yummy and delicious and that is just everything that I love in body care and fragrance so I have a lot of new things a lot of these products, honestly, they came out a few weeks ago, so a lot of you probably have already heard about them. But we're still going to chat about them because they're new and exciting products that are in stores right now. Everything I got from either Walmart, Target, some TJ Maxx, a little bit of Ulta, and online shopping. But for the most part, it's all pretty affordable stuff, which is what I like to talk about here on my channel. That's basically it. That's where I've been. I hope this is the start of me being consistent again because I have so many ideas, a lot of content that I want to put out, and I I've already pre-filmed a couple other videos. I just gotta get those edited. Like I got a lot of the new Bath & Body Works stuff, a lot of the new Victoria's Secret collections and perfumes. So in case you guys wanna see those as well, I can edit them and just post them because those collections have been out for a little while, but I don't know. You guys let me know if you wanna see those. Sorry, that's enough rambling. I'm gonna try not to ramble on about all these products because this video will probably be very, very long, even though it probably already is gonna be. Basically, I'm excited to be back. And if you are new here, you never watched any of my videos before, I do videos all about hygiene, body care, and fragrance. I do a ton of different haul videos. Typically, I do post new videos every single week. So make sure to hit the notification bell down below. That way you guys will get notified whenever I post new videos. And like I said, I will also have my Instagram and TikTok linked down below as well. Okay, we're just gonna start randomly. Let's start off with Walmart because actually Walmart has just be coming out with so many new products. Like if you guys haven't been in a while and checked out their body care section, they carry so many new brands and just like new products are coming out. So I went a little bit crazy and I picked up a lot of the new stuff out currently. One of the first things here is a new EOS lotion and I love the EOS lotions. They're super moisturizing. I love the formula of these and they have some really good scents. My all time favorite is the vanilla cashmere because that smells like frosting. It's super sweet for all my gourmand lovers. But this one right here is called Fresh and Cozy. And first this was released online. It wasn't really hitting the stores right away. So I kind of held off from ordering it. And now luckily Walmart carries it, which is amazing because it's even cheaper at Walmart than anywhere else. I'm pretty sure. I know uh, Target carries EOS, but I feel like it was cheaper at Walmart. I'm not sure. But either way, I knew I had to pick this up. I love the packaging, like just like the pastel pink. It looks really cute. So again, this one is called Fresh and Cozy and it has notes of morning light dewy cassis. Is it cassis? I remember I got a comment on how it was pronounced and I already forgot. So I may or may not be pronouncing that one incorrectly. I'm gonna need to look that up again. And also sheer musk. So this one is definitely more of a fresh scent. But the name of this, like fresh and cozy, fits it so perfectly because it really does have this kind of like warm, cozy feel to it, which I really enjoy. This is a perfect bedtime scent in my opinion. Like even if you're not really into those like super clean, like fresh laundry scents, this is not that. It still has this nice like fresh, clean type of scent to it. But because of that sheer musk, I believe, it's kind of bringing this like warmth and cozy feeling to it. So I personally really like this one. It is a little bit floral, but nothing 
nothing too overpowering. It's just overall a very fresh scent that I think can go with a lot of different things. You know, if you're someone who takes showers right before bed and you want to apply a lotion, even if you're not wanting to put a fragrance on top, it's almost kind of like that fresh, clean skin scent. I don't know, does that make sense? I'm not sure. Like, I feel like if you put this on and someone smelled you, they would think you just naturally smell that way because it's nothing too overpowering, nothing overly floral or overly sweet. It just smells very fresh and clean, which I like. So I haven't seen this anywhere else. I haven't seen it in Targets yet. So if you're interested in getting this one, I would check out Walmart or you can order directly from the EOS website. Okay, just so y'all know, I have a lot of lotions in this haul. I just have a thing for lotions because I love layering them with my fragrances. And this is another new one that you can find at Walmart. And this is from the brand Bliss. I always saw their skincare at Target and I don't think I'd ever seen it at Walmart up until recently. And now they have these new Cloud9 body lotions. I think there's three different scents and I actually went with this one in Pink Blossom and Water Lily. I went through and smelled the ones that I saw in store. I think there was like a lemongrass one, something like that. And there was an almond milk and vanilla, which typically that would be more my vibe because I love sweet scents, especially almond scents and vanilla scents. But actually when I went through and smelled them all, I ended up liking this one the most. I feel like I have so many other like sweeter scents and the almond vanilla one, it really wasn't that sweet. There are other vanilla scented lotions that I liked more than that. Yeah, it's a very, again, just like light, fresh scent, nothing too overpowering at all. This is one that you can throw on, you know, before bed or, you know, if you're just wanting to apply a lotion but not really worried about the scent, this can go with basically anything just because it is a very like fresh kind of softer scent. But I have tried a little bit of the lotion on my skin and it does feel super lightweight, which I like. This is perfect actually whenever you just got out of the shower, your skin is still damp and just applying this all over your body, like your skin will drink this up. It just absorbs super fast, doesn't feel heavy at all. It is made with vitamin B3, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So yeah, just a nice lightweight lotion, nothing like too strong at all. But again, I just really like the packaging of this, the colors of it and everything just really drew me in. And I wanted to try out one of the Bliss lotions because I'm pretty new to the brand, haven't tried much from them. So yeah, that was nice to see that they have a whole new line there at Walmart. There are some other body butters as well, but so far I've only tried the body lotion. Okay, so this lotion here, whenever I first saw it on Instagram, I was like, I need to find that. And luckily the very first Walmart that I went to, they had it there on their shelves. It was just sitting there. It's like it was just waiting for me to pick it up. There was only a few there. So I snatched this up so fast and brought it home with me. This is one of the new Jergens Skin Smoothies. And I have a couple of these lotions. I think I have almost all of them maybe except for like one or two, but this one is called Blissful Berry, and I just need you guys to take a look at this packaging. Hopefully the camera will do it some sort of justice. I know it's kind of hard to focus on these sometimes, but it just looks so delicious. It looks like a little whipped berry parfait here on the front. So it's called a Blissful Berry, and it's a blend of mixed berries with sweet, creamy coconut milk. You know, down from the packaging, the name, the description, I knew I had to try it. This really does smell like mixed berries, like I'm getting raspberry and blackberry, kind of like the darker berries, a little bit more tart, kind of. Yeah, for some reason, I'm getting a lot of raspberry in here, and I don't know if it's just me, but I was gonna say it kind of has this like bubbly note to it, and here it does say sparkling mixed berries. So that's probably what I'm getting from. It does have this like more like bubbly note, which it's kind of surprising because off the picture, I would have thought this would be a more like gourmand almost scent, like berries and whipped cream, like a whipped vanilla. But honestly, I'm getting mostly berries, like sparkling berry note with a little bit of like creaminess coming from like a coconut, maybe a little bit of vanilla. In case you're curious, I wouldn't say this is a gourmand scent. It's definitely more fruity sweet. I'm trying to think if there's anything that to me smells like this. And I don't know if I have anything in my collection that's really an exact dupe of something like this, but in case you're wondering if it's anything like berry waffle cone, where it's like that true, really sweet gourmand berries and cream scent, this is not that at all. It's a lot more fruity sweet, has a lot of that sparkling berry, almost kind of like a cocktail. This maybe wouldn't be like one of my top, top favorites from Jergens. I do like some of their other scents, like they had this tropical fruit one that smells so delicious. It was like this blend of all these different fruits, really, really sweet, but it's not a bad scent. Definitely if you like more like raspberry, berry, 
blackberry, blueberry type of scents, a little bit of like a bubbly kind of note and more fruity, then I think you will like this one. And I think it would be really good for layering. Okay, so there is a new line and it's called Scent Theory and this has been blasted all over Instagram. I know a lot of us were really excited about this line because for one, it's a new body cream line. It looks very similar to something you would get from Bath & Body Works. I mean, these body creams, it's the same exact packaging as Bath & Body Works. And these are less than $5, which is amazing. So they came out with a whole line of different body creams also have hand soaps and that's all I've seen from them so far so maybe they'll start expanding their line which I think is really exciting because it's so affordable I love that so the brand is called scent theory I only picked up one of the body creams they had a whole different line and honestly it kind of seems like they're very close to the Bath and Body Works scents like it seems like they have one that's similar to into the night maybe even in the stars I ended up choosing this one in cherry blush bouquet and this has notes of cherry blossom, English jasmine, and rose macaron, which sounds so good. Like the rose macarons, that there at the end, that sold me. I was like, yeah, this is the one I'm gonna try. And it is made with coconut oil, shea, and cocoa butters. And I already have tried a little bit of the body cream and it just feels so good on my skin. I really like the formula of these body creams. I'm gonna have to compare it like side by side to the Bath & Body Works one. Just the feel of it, it just feels so good on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy at all, which is nice. I actually really like this set. I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be similar to Japanese Cherry Blossom. I used to have Japanese cherry blossom like probably over a year ago and ended up exchanging it just because I wasn't really using it. I'm not sure exactly if they smell identical. Okay, sorry. I ended up having some lotion there on my hand and I got it a little bit there in my hair. But anyways, I do really like the formula of this. It does... It smells good. I have been liking rose scents. So that's kind of why I chose to get this one. I was able just to smell a couple others. I smelled the one that's supposed to be similar to Into the Night. Even just looking at the packaging, it does look like it's supposed to be a dupe. And from what I could tell really quickly, it did smell like Into the Night. There was also a Ruby Apple one that smelled pretty good as well. I almost got that one. This was the last one in this scent. So I just decided to go for it, mainly because I wanted to try out the formula. I think it's really good. I mean, I think it's a good price also, like less than $5. So hopefully they'll start to expand on this and now we'll have another brand that we can easily get at Walmart That's really affordable. So yeah, that's always exciting to see a lot of their hand soaps It seems like they're seasonal So we probably will be seeing some more new scents from them also So I will put the link down on the Walmart website That way you guys can check it out to see if any stores around you have it in stock Just because these are still like a pretty new product You know, I told myself like I'm just gonna like breeze through these products and share what I got And I just find myself like rambling on so much with each product since we're talking about new affordable products there is a new scent from Bodycology and you guys might have seen it already so far this is the only new one that's come out I'm really hoping that they bring out a few others because this one it seems a little off to me and you know I love Bodycology I love when they release like new things but for one it's called chilled bubbly it's more of a champagne scent I don't know if it's just me but champagne scents to me are more winter scents I mean you can wear them whenever honestly I would think it'd be more around like December kind of like leading up to New Year's just champagne scents remind me of the holidays or maybe even like spring scents like those like really fruity bubbly scents I don't know that's just my opinion on it I'm hoping we're gonna see some like sweet gourmand scents come out because that's always what really gets me excited. But I still wanted to try this one out, mainly because I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on it so far. It is called Chill Bubbly. They do have it in the fragrance mist and the lotion. I haven't seen it in a body wash yet. And I know a lot of people, whenever they saw this out, they were, you know, saying it's a dupe or wondering if it's a dupe of Champagne Toast. And let me tell you guys, don't come for me, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of Champagne Toast. I know. It's a really popular scent. I know a lot of people love it. But me personally, it just... I don't know, to my nose, the way it mixed with my body chemistry, it just, it's not one of my favorite scents. So I wasn't thrilled at the idea of this being a dupe of Champagne Toast. And after smelling it, I think it kind of is. It's not 100% spot on, but it definitely is very similar to something like Champagne Toast. This says blended notes of festive fruits, sparkling champagne, golden vanilla, and sugared woods. So let's talk about the scent a little bit. So I think I'm actually going to put a little bit on just to kind of refresh my memory because I've had this for 
I don't know, at least two or three weeks now. The body cream, it's honestly not very strong. It's a little bit lighter on the bubbly, kind of sparkling champagne scent. And for me, what really intrigued me was the golden vanilla and the sugared woods, you know? Like, that just sounded good. I was like, you know, maybe I would like it if it's like a sweeter version of champagne toast mixed with the vanilla. It just sounded like a nice combo. Unfortunately, I'm not really getting the golden vanilla or really like the sugared woods. To me, it just smells like straight up champagne Pain, and that's kind of where it starts to throw me off, you know? I'm gonna spray a little bit of the mist over top. Okay, strong alcohol scent in there in the beginning. So let me, let's let this dry down a little bit. <sighs> okay, um, I'm not sure exactly what fruity notes in here. It says festive fruits, you know, sparkling scents. I'm imagining more of like some type of citrus, like a bright citrus, maybe a little bit of like grapefruit or orange, orange zest, something like that. It is very obvious that it's more of a citrus scent. It's very bright, almost like a little bit zesty. I wouldn't say it's a very sweet scent at all, but what stands out to me the most is the champagne. It just smells like straight up champagne, which I don't even like to drink champagne. I know a lot of people love mimosas and things like that. I don't even really drink hardly ever anyways. But yeah, it's not a terrible scent. I think obviously if you're a huge fan of champagne toast, then you would probably really like this one. I don't think it's terrible. I definitely don't. Um, I think if anything, since I do already have it, and I'm not planning on returning it, I can always layer it something else just to kind of like make it work for me. Maybe I will try layering it with the vanilla scent since it's missing that golden vanilla note for me. Like I'm really not getting that at all, but that is my opinion on it so far. And that might end up being like an unpopular one because you know, I know champagne toast, a lot of people love that one. But yeah, I still wanted to try it out. I think the packaging is really cute. I'm sure the lighting in here is really washing it out. I'm hoping this is not gonna be the last scent that we see for a while. I'm hoping they're gonna come out with some new ones and I would love to see something sweet and gourmand. Okay, let's finish things up with a couple other things from Walmart. So there's this brand, I forgot what like the full name of it is, but it's this newer brand that's come out maybe like a month or two ago now, maybe even longer, but it says on here, Body by TPH. They do have a full line of different products. I remember this whenever it first came out. I wasn't really obsessed with it. I was able to smell one because someone unfortunately ripped one open. So I kind of like took a little sniff of it in store. And you know, I wasn't super impressed by the vanilla tubero scent, which is the one that I was most excited for because I love vanilla scents and I love tuberose notes. But after giving it a second chance, after seeing everyone rave about this collection, I decided to give it a second chance and I'm so happy I did. So the first thing I actually bought was this lightweight body oil. And you guys, this actually smells really good. I think this has been the best product that I have found so far. I mean, I've only had these two, but this one is like the one that smells the best in my opinion. It smells delicious. And I just love body oils. I love mixing them with my body creams or my lotions or just using them on its own. This to me feels like luxury in a bottle. And this brand is a little bit more pricey. It's like 12 to $13 each product. So, you know, especially for like things you get at Walmart, this is a little bit more expensive, but I promise you guys, this oil feels like a $40 oil, like a $40, $50 oil. It feels really nice on my skin. It's very lightweight, which I like, but it still gives my skin a nice glow and it smells so, so good. So I really like this one. And after trying that out, I decided to get the body cream. So this one is called Watch Me Whip and there are two different creams in these tubs. So you need to make sure you're kind of getting the right one that you're looking for. I wanted the body cream because this is more of like an actual body cream. There is one, it's called, it's not a body lotion. I forgot what exactly they call it but it's more of like a solid oil, kind of like similar to the texture and consistency of Vaseline, which is not really what I was looking for. So I made sure to get the body cream. So I just got this the other day and I sampled a little bit of it. For one, the scent, it smells good. It's not like a really strong scent. So just know that going in. It's not a very powerful like projecting scent, but the texture of this, it feels so, so good on my skin. I applied a little bit to my hand, kind of up my arm, and it just made my skin feel so, so soft, which I really like. This to me, again, is worth the $11, $12. I really like this, so I'm excited to use this one more. It is more like a whip body cream, so it feels like it's actually doing something, like it's really moisturizing your skin, but nothing like too, too heavy. It just, it absorbed into my skin, it blended out really nicely, and I just really enjoyed this product. Like these, 
feel so luxurious, which I really like. I might try other products from this line. I'm just kind of getting that little by little because, you know, if you pick up like three or four products, that can quickly add up. Definitely pick out something that stands out to you to try out first. And there are other scents as well. The Vanilla Tuberose one, I know that one has kind of been the one talked about the most. And the last thing here from Walmart, I got this Aussie hair perfume, which I didn't even know they had something like this. I'm not sure if this is new or it's been out for a while, but it's basically a hair perfume. It's called Scent Boost. I just love the idea of like hair perfumes, hair mist, things like that. This just smells so clean. Like if you love the smell of like freshly washed hair, then you will like this. It smells very nostalgic to me. Like it's kind of reminding me of like herbal essence shampoo, like very fresh, almost like kind of like a fruity scent. It just kind of smells more like shampoo. So if you're into that, then I think you will like this one. This doesn't really smell like a perfume or it's something like really like sweet or anything like that. It definitely has more of like a floral scent to it. But if you want something fresh and clean and you like that shampoo like smell in your hair, then I think you will like this one. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I haven't even used it yet because I just recently got it, but I'm pretty sure because Aussie is a more affordable brand, it was definitely less than $10. Okay, let's get into some things that I got at Target because Target also has some new products out right now. So we got to talk about the new Native collection and Native is just killing it. Like they always come out with these new collections. If you love sweet gourmand scents, then Native is something that you need to keep an eye on because they are always coming out with new sweet scents. And this one for fall, this one is toasted marshmallow and vanilla and you guys this smells like s'mores it smells like vanilla and it's a little bit chocolatey it's very warm and sweet it smells delicious this smells so good i love this and i love the formula of the native body washes as well okay sorry my camera was dying that is definitely a sign that i've been here for a while but yeah basically i don't have anything else to say other than it smells really good i think that chocolatey note is coming from the cocoa extract that's in here it definitely has a very strong chocolatey scent it smells very warm and toasted that's why it reminds me of fall and i also ended up getting the deodorant i've already been using the deodorant i love the native deodorants they smell so good they have very unique scents where else are you going to find a toasted marshmallow and vanilla scented deodorant. No one else really does it like native and this just smells so good. It's a little bit like less strong compared to the body wash but I think that's a good thing you know in deodorant forms and this is great for layering so if you're wearing like a chocolatey or like vanilla scent you can just throw this on and it's going to match your scent of the day which I really like. Another new scent that they came out with this is from the same collection I guess it's like their fall line but this one is called cashmere and rain and I decided to get this one. I was kind of unsure whether or not I needed it or not but actually this does smell really good I feel like this is one that my boyfriend and I can both use this is made with lavender extract so it does have that strong like true lavender note it's not like a sweet lavender it's definitely like a little bit more floral and it reminds me of like aromatherapy scent like you know how aromatherapy has those really strong lavender oil scents yeah this reminds me of something like that but it's still like very calming just like a very fresh and clean scent and you know sometimes you're not in the mood to like wear like these really overly sweet gourmand scents for those days that's when i'll choose to use something like this i think it's also like a very relaxing scent so for like my nighttime showers before bed whenever I'm just like feeling exhausted or stressed out something like that this is what I'll be using that for I do like them both but of course the toasted marshmallow is my favorite and actually I just went to Target yesterday and I saw they have even more new scents coming out this seems more of like getting closer to the holidays because this was also part of the display that had the holiday scent the ones that we saw last year they brought back sugar cookie candy cane and the fresh mistletoe all three of those are back in Target now and this is a new one in spiked eggnog and this smells like chai like a warm chai it smells really good it does have a little bit of like a spice note like almost like pumpkin spice but to me it reminds me a little bit more of warm chai I just think it smells really good I don't know if this will come out in a full line or we get like a matching body wash did I need another native deodorant absolutely not but I really wanted to try this one out I picked up another of the OGX coconut coffee body wash because I already went through my other bottle and this is just perfect for fall. It smells so good. I use this one all the time. I use it in the mornings. I use it before bed. It's just one of my favorite scents. I use it all year round, but during the fall and winter season, this is one of my favorites to use. So I just picked up another one of these. Because I've been liking rose scents, I got one of the Method Lotions. This is the one, the Pure Peace. So it has peony, rose water, and pink sea salt. I got it mainly just to go with my other rose scents that I've been wearing. This one is very fresh and clean, very like 
strong floral scent. Get a lot of the peony and the rose water. It basically smells just like the body wash. So if you're a fan of the body wash already, they do also have in the matching lotion. These are a little bit more on the pricey side for lotions. Like I think they're close to like nine or ten dollars but these are okay lotions i like the formula like they're okay nothing like that really blows me away not one of my top favorites but i do like their scents basically i just got this one because it's a rose scent and then the last thing i got is another air freshener from febreze and this is the cozy campfire one they brought back the fresh baked vanilla one that smells like vanilla cookies very warm and sweet that one is my favorite but i picked up a backup last year that i still haven't used but this is another new a limited edition scent i can't remember if this one came out last year or not but I hadn't picked it up yet so let's see this smells so good it's like woody it's a little bit sweet but I think it smells really good I love the Febreze air fresheners so this one will be going to my living room I'll probably be using it there or maybe even my bedroom I don't know I can pretty much use this all over the house so I forgot to mention these these I actually got my local grocery store but they are both new lotions from Jergens and these are popping up at a lot of other stores now so I think you can find them at Walmart Maybe even Target, I'm not sure exactly, but Jergens is just putting out the new stuff. I had to pick up all three of the new lotions. So I already talked about the skin smoothie and there is this one here, which is oil infused whipped body butter and just this packaging and everything about it, it just immediately caught my attention. But this is a deep conditioning shea and cocoa butter blend. And I don't know if this is completely new or if they've had something like this in the past. The cool thing about this is it's supposed to hydrate and also even at your skin tone as you consistently use it it says you're supposed to see more of like an even tone after four weeks of using but regardless I just wanted to try out the formula and I love like shea and cocoa butter scents I'm a little disappointed by the scent of this I'm not gonna lie I thought it was gonna be like a stronger scent but to me it just kind of smells like a lotion a little bit more kind of on the fresh side not really a very strong scent at all the formula though is like very thick but it's also like a whipped body butter at the same time so it kind of blends into your skin very easily to me it does feel just a little bit kind of like heavy on my skin like I don't know if it's just me it almost kind of like dries down a little bit tacky on my skin I don't know I've been seeing so many people like raving about this they love the texture of it and everything but the way it dries it on my skin, like it's not sticky, but I can feel it on my skin. So I don't know, I'm kind of like 50-50 on this. I might try putting this on like right after the shower, like directly the wet skin to see how it's kind of absorbed. Maybe I'll like the way it applies more whenever I try it that way. You can put on whatever fragrance over top of this. It's not really going to mesh with whatever scent you're planning on wearing for the day. Just kind of one of those everyday lotions. If you're looking for something really, really hydrating, a little bit thicker, if you have really dry skin then maybe you will like this one. I know a lot of people are really enjoying it but for me I like something a little bit more lightweight and that absorbed my skin quickly. And then the other one I got here is the Pure Hydration. I mean look at this bottle. I love the packaging of this. It reminds me a lot of the cloud cream that came out I think it was earlier this year. I'm not sure exactly. This one is a very very fresh scent like almost kind of like that natural fresh scent. I don't know. It doesn't really have like a strong scent to me, so the scent really doesn't bother me very much. I think this is supposed to be fragrance free actually. Yeah, no parabens, dyes, or artificial fragrances, a plant-based moisturizer, and just called pure hydration. So super lightweight, it really absorbs into your skin very quickly. It's similar to the cloud cream lotion, so if you like that one, more than likely you'll like this one as well. The cloud cream one smells more like fresh, almost kind of like fresh laundry, like it's a little bit more like a clean soapy scent. And this one has this very like natural fresh scent to it. I almost forgot, I wanted to mention this. This is obviously not body care, but look how adorable this is. It is so cute. You have probably seen all the little like gumball machines that Target has come out with. They come out with so many other ones. I have the black one and now they came out with this all clear iridescent one. I don't know if you can really tell but it is so cute so I bought them here from my room. I saw just Kayla Michelle if you guys follow her on Instagram. I think she did a real I can't remember if it was on TikTok or Instagram, but she put her pocket bags in here, which I thought was adorable. So I ended up doing the same thing. I have all my pocket bags here on my other one because I bought two. So I'm still trying to decide what exactly to do with this one. But yeah, these are super cute and they are $5. So if you happen to be passing through Target in the little dollar section, you might be able to find these and I think they are adorable. I think if you wanted to put this like on your vanity or something, you could always put like makeup sponges, lip glosses, like all kind of like little cute girly things in here. So yeah, I really like this. I thought it was really cute. So that's why I grabbed two of them. Okay, I just decided because I 
literally have so many new things. I have a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I also went to Kohl's and I got some things online. So I think I'm gonna make a part two of all like the other stuff just because I feel like this video is already really, really long and I have some other things from Walmart that I got. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up with all the good yummy wax melts that I got because there's so many sweet scents out and then I'll do a part two of all the other stuff that I got. Okay, some of these I have already started to use. I got this one in pear vanilla bean. Okay, so I have been kind of liking pear scent. This kind of smells like a baked pear, like a really warm, sweet pear. It has notes of harvest pear, cane sugar, vanilla bean, a cinnamon and whipped cream. I like this one. I think if you like pear scents, then you probably will too. It almost kind of has almost like a caramelized like pear scent kind of. I don't know if it's a mix of like the sugar with the cinnamon and the pear. I don't think I have any other pear scented wax melt. This is from Better Homes and Gardens, which by the way, all these are from Walmart. They're all around $2, which I love. So I always end up stocking up on them there. This one I actually got last year and I went through one. So I picked it up again. This is the lemon and pumpkin shortbread. It has notes of lemon, pumpkin, ginger, cinnamon, clove, and sugar. Oh my God. This smells, it literally smells like a mix of lemon pound cake and pumpkin bread. It smells so delicious. I love my sweet gourmand lemon scent. And this one just smells like a bakery. Like it smells so good. I want to eat it. Really been using this one also. I've been using this one in my living room a lot. This is from Sensationals. It's called Fallen Leaves. And it just says crisp air, citrus, and wood. Yeah, this just smells like fall. So that's why I've already been using this one. I've been using it at night and throwing it in my wax warmer there in the living room. And it just smells so cozy. And even though it's like really hot here, we don't even really have a fall because it's just always hot until it gets cold. But you know, I'm trying to bring in the fall spirit the fall vibes here so I've been bringing a lot of my fall candles and wax melt and actually there's a lot of new ones from sensationals this I think is more of like a summer scent but I hadn't seen it up until recently it says it's limited edition and this is the rainbow shaved ice I had to get this one because it just looks so cute. I love the packaging. It has a little like rainbow snow cone here on the front. And to me, this smells like blue raspberry candy. It smells very sweet, but it kind of just smells like blue raspberry. So if you're into that, you might like that one. I don't really get much else. I don't know what other notes are in here, but basically I'm just smelling like some type of berries, like blueberries or raspberry. Okay, this is another new one from Sensationals. It's called Buttercream Frosting. You know, this kind of reminds me of the Marshmallow Krispies from Sensationals. Like, kind of has like that like orangey, like gourmand kind of citrus note in there, you know, cause the Marshmallow crispy smells like Fruity Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles kind of has that like sweet kind of citrus scent in there. So yeah, that's kind of what this one reminds me of. It's a little bit more of like Fruity Pebble frosting kind of, while that one smells more of like a Rice Krispie treat. But I think if you like Marshmallow Krispies, then you'll probably like this one as well. It smells really good. And also from Sensationals, this one is called Cupcake. This is another new scent. I haven't seen this one before and I was kind of going back Back and forth because honestly I'm not totally in love with this scent it does smell like vanilla but it's kind of like that artificial almost kind of play-doh like vanilla scent like it's nothing too too strong I was like going back and forth whether or not I needed it or not but I just really like the packaging and I thought maybe once I actually put this in my warmer it might be stronger it might smell a little bit different so we will see, but just here out of the package, it just kind of smells a little bit artificial. Okay, so this next one here, Sugared Lavender Twist. Probably should have started out with this one, but this smells just like the Pink Sugar perfume, like the Aqualina Pink Sugar. I'm sure a lot of you have smelled that one. It smells so sugary. It smells like cotton candy. It's one of those perfumes, you either love it or you hate it. I've kind of grown to enjoy it now. From the beginning, I was like... What is everyone raving about, you know? But whenever I smelled this wax melt, I was like, this smells just like that perfume. I don't know if anybody else is gonna get that. I think I saw like a couple other people comment that they thought the same thing. But other than that, I haven't heard anybody talk about this or I haven't heard anyone say that they thought it smelled like the perfume. It has notes of raspberry, orange, red fig, pink sugar, vanilla, orchid, lavender, vanilla sugar, and amber. And actually I compared the notes to the pink sugar perfume to these and they actually do have a lot of these similar scent notes. That's literally all I smell. Whenever I smell this, I just think of the perfume. It smells just like it to me. If you're a fan of the pink sugar perfume and you want your home to smell like it or your room to smell like it, then get this wax melt. Sugar to vanilla twist from Better Homes and Gardens. I know it says lavender and you wouldn't think that, but the lavender note in here actually 
perfume. It isn't really strong. To me, it just ends up smelling like the perfume. It smells very sweet, kind of like spun sugar, like cotton candy. That's what reminds me a lot of the perfume. This isn't a limited edition scent or anything. Like this one's been out for a little while. But yeah, I just had to get it for that reason. I still need to put it in my wax warmer to like really see how it smells. Okay, I got a few of these from Mainstays, which these are actually all a dollar. They are a little bit more like a smaller pack of wax melts, but I love the fact that these are only a dollar. So I end up grabbing a few at a time. This one is in Apple Fritters, and they actually do have this one in the matching candle, which I've really been liking. I would burn the candle and mix it with something like the fallen leaves or more of like a sweet apple scent, just because this really does smell like fall. So this has notes of apple, maple, and vanilla. Yeah, this smells good. This smells even stronger than the candle, so I would actually recommend getting the wax melt over the candle. I had better luck with the wax melt, so that's why I picked up two of those. I also grabbed a two of these, which this is a very strong scent. I think I ended up grabbing three of these because I went through one already. This one is apple butter rum. It has notes of apple rum, pear, and cinnamon. So this you could pair with like other apple scents. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I like to layer my wax melt or I'll like you know, do like a wax melt and a candle. Kind of like do a little combo. I was putting this in my warmer with other like gourmand apple scents. Ooh, it smells so good. I really like this one. It doesn't smell super strong right here out of the package, but once I put it in my wax warmer, it was like filling up my entire living room and it smelled so good. I also grabbed two of Butterscotch Shortbread. I'm pretty sure this was newer also. I don't remember seeing this one before. Has notes of brown sugar, buttercream, and bourbon. I don't remember why I picked up two. I think I just got a little carried away whenever I was looking at all the wax melts. It really does smell like butterscotch. Yeah, brown sugar, buttercream, and bourbon. Mm, to me, it kind of smells more of like those butterscotch little candies, like those hard candies. I have used a little bit. I forgot what I mixed this with. I can't remember exactly. Those little hard candies, they remind me of my grandpa, so that's kind of why I got that one too. I think I just grabbed one of these. This is salted caramel butterscotch. This has toffee, vanilla, and butterscotch. This smells a lot more like butterscotch. It really does smell like butterscotch and caramel. Hmm. It's not super strong though, not one of my favorites. I think I like the butterscotch shortbread a little bit more, but I haven't tried this one yet either, so we'll see. But I just grabbed one of those. So all these like little packs again are a dollar. This is another new one from Sensationals called Pumpkin Cider. Oh my god, this one smells so good. I remember now why I got this one. Yeah, it smells really good. I need to use this one. It doesn't just smell like a cider, like it smells a little bit more gourmand to me, but it's just like a warm, cozy fall scent. I really like this one. I'm definitely gonna have to put that one in my warmer soon. I have a feeling that one's gonna be really strong just because it smells strong even out of the package. And then I do have one more from Sensationals. I'm pretty sure this one is new as well. It's called Buttered Maple and it has the most delicious looking pancakes here on the front. Wow, this really does smell like a buttered pancake with maple syrup on top. I really like that. This smells so good. You know, I love these sweet gourmand scents, but my boyfriend, he doesn't really like them. I usually just sneak them into the wax warmer and just turn it on anyways, but typically he's not a fan of like the overly sweet gourmand scents. I try to just like put them on while I'm here at home by myself. I already know he wouldn't be a fan of this one. It literally, it smells like pancakes or even like French toast. It smells so good. I'm gonna put this one on anyways. That one smells so good to me. This is one that we've actually both been enjoying. It's called Apple and Cedarwood. See, he's a fan of more like the mahogany teak wood, like the woody type of scents. So it's kind of like a little bit of both, like something we both like. This is one that we've had on in the living room also. Has notes of herbs, harvest apple, cedar wood, blonde woods, amber, and white musk. Yeah, this smells good. If you're a fan of like those like more like woody type of scents, I know there's one from Bath & Body Works called Mahogany Apple. That smells so good. That's one of my favorites because you can still smell that apple scent so it smells like fall, but just like the combination with like the cedar wood and the other spicy scent, it's like a nice blend of both of those things. And the last one I got here is from Lumi Sense. I don't know, it's another brand that they carry at Walmart. Kind of newer, it's been out for like a few months now, but this is the homemade cinnamon rolls with cinnamon rolls and buttercream frosting. Mm, it does smell good. Kind of like a little bit more heavy on the cinnamon, so I would actually mix this with my other apple scents to kind of create like an apple cinnamon roll, like an apple spice or something like that. Not like super gourmand, I'm getting a lot of like the cinnamon kind of spice note in there, but those are all the wax melts that I got. A lot of new things a lot of new body care. That is everything that I got. Definitely stay tuned for part two. I'll try to get them like uploaded together, but yeah, stay tuned for that. And also 
for my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret haul if you guys still want to see that. Definitely let me know down below and if you have been doing some shopping as well or if you tried out any of the new things that I talked about in today's video, I would love to know the new things that you've picked up. I'm looking forward to chatting with you guys in the comments because it has been such a long time and if you made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and if you did enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel, helps on my videos whenever you do so I really appreciate whenever you guys do that. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Please subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!